And I remember I telling my husband, you know, I want to be a teacher. I really want to be a teacher. But I went back to school at 38. Growing up was hard for me. My dad went to school only till the fourth grade. My mother went to school to the sixth grade. I don't remember many books or anything like that at home, but I remember the teachers. The wisdom from Santa Fe is that um, everyone is an educator, but we actually chose to this, and it's a profession. So for me, the Golden Apple is that honor, that we're worthy of respect and the classroom is a sacred place. The, the award itself comes with so many great benefits and I, I feel challenged and, and determined to make sure that the benefits of the award impacts the students that I work with now and the students that I'll work with in the future. If winning the Golden Apple means I'm doing a great job, then I'm, I'm really honored to just win it. It's not that much about being recognized, it's nice, but it's, that's not it. It's really the professional opportunities, having somebody to sponsor it, that is the big thing about it. My daughter was in the classroom with me, helping me get cleaned up, and she's organizing books, and we're setting things just right, and she said, Mama, what are you going to do if you don't win again? I said, well, I guess I'm going to have to try again. And that's when I really realized that this was something that meant more to me than uh, just a grant opportunity or just your name in the paper. It was something that I had put weight into and that I was gonna work toward until I got it. I'm, I'm just humbled. I, I, just do what, I just do what needs to be done. And for somebody to just say, hey, you know what, you go above and beyond, I was, uh, ecstatic. <laughs> it's, it's a great honor. Winning the Golden Apple Award is, it's an honor. It's, uh, like I say, I'm still on cloud nine. Being able to challenge students and to engage them in learning and create lifelong learners is the most important piece of the work that we do. To uh, teach young kids why they need to be physically active and uh, what the benefits are to their life quality is my passion. I think it is all about exploration and the realization that, that you're not going to get to a final destination, um, that it's, it's a horizon, but it's a beautiful view. I like to think of teaching in three aspects. I like to impassion them, I like to inspire them, and I like to empower them. Figure out what gets them thinking so you can meet them where the learning happens. When you know your students that way, you will be a successful teacher. If they come into my class, the first question I ask is, how do you feel about math? And some of them, uh, not really, you know, and others love it like I do. And I tell them by the end of the school year, they will love math. And most of them do. Some of my kids have really had a hard, hard life in their, in their home environment, you know, living with grandma, not having dad, not having mom. And that's where I fit in. I am the grandma, I am their mom, I am their sister, I am their aunt. And it's so cute because some of my kids say, Grandma or Mom, see, I can be your mom. You can call me mom or you can call me grandma. Words to a young teacher just starting out, I would just tell them, teach with passion, learn with passion, uh, and I would tell them everything and anything that you do, uh, it's, to make, it's to make kids realize that they can achieve their dreams. Be proud of being a teacher. Love it that much. Walk into a room and say, I am a teacher, and I love this this much. The number one thing for me is the smile on my students' faces when they walk into the classroom every single day. You're going to have your days. You're going to meet obstacles, and you're going to meet struggles. You know, but these little kids will make your day. You will make a big difference in their life. What I hope for all of my students is that they keep dreaming big and keep um, thinking of the impossible and push their boundaries. I think the most important thing that we can do 
for the future of, of our lives, our country, our growth, our development, is to look where our students, our children are starting. And when you give a child the right start, you're giving them the gift to take care of themselves. And you're giving them the gift to go on and create a life for themselves. We need to support our children, we need to support our parents, and we need to educate our children to be competitive, not only in the United States, but in our, in our world. The people who teach in public education don't teach for the money. They teach because they love children. We all teach because we love children, and we, we do make a difference in your children.